They have been sold at 30 million for One Piece and 3 million for Naruto. Besides, in comic expos, comic peripheral products such as action figures, cushions, something like that. Drive also drive fans into a frenzy. Fans line up and stay up all night in order to get into the expos where Japanese comics are displayed and sold. The expos have been promoting Japanese comic books, but also Japanese pop culture. So, why Japanese comics are so popular in Japan? One of the reasons is Japanese governmental policies. The Japanese government has been putting a great deal of effort into promotion of industrial, uh, cultural industries, and they released new growth strategies and industries vision in 2010. For example, they held an international comics expo in many times. And in 2012, it was held in Paris and visited by about 200,000 people. This was, um, this was a new platform for Japanese young comic artists to make their work well known to the world. It also creates new business relationships and sells their work to their target audience. The government expects that Japanese cultural industries such as animation, movies, and comics will become strategic sectors that can bring to, com bring to countries economic growth. In this way, Japan has succeeded in comic industries. However, in Taiwan, with all many interesting comics and talented comic artists, Taiwanese, young comic, ta Taiwanese comics do not get much attention in the world. So how can we help Taiwanese young comic artists to become internationally successful like some Japanese artists. So we want to to propose Our first suggestion is to set up an online platform for like Facebook, Black and Twitter. It can provide for both readers and comic artists with comic information. This system also has many good points. For example, you can upload brand summary of the comics as well as trail editions so that readers can take a glance and, and get interested in them. Besides, this platform also offers opportunities to comic artists to communicate and discuss with others beyond national borders. And if they put their work online, I, I believe that someone will give them helpful suggestions, advice, and opinions. It is a competitive platform, but I think it is also a cooperation between the lovers uh, of the comics. Our second suggestion is an event called C1 Grand Prize. It stands for Comic One Grand Prize. It lets Taiwanese comic artists compete with each other. In this event, young and non-popular artists can enter a prize contest. Judges may be they are popular comic artists or proeditors read their works and choose which one is the best. Then, the winner can get an opportunity to publish his or her work or to be run in a popular magazine. This event has also two good points. First, we can, make, we can find many good artists who are hidden in Taiwan. For Taiwanese young artists, there is little chance to be popular artists. So, it would be a great step forward to promotion for Taiwanese local artists. 
Second, the artists can compete with each other. The process of preparation for this event encourages them to draw better comics and they can escape from the situation with no hope or no goal. This is a hard competition, but the event would be possible in such a cooperative way with the event organizers. Today, we propose two main ideas to promote Taiwanese young comic artists internationally with both cooperation and competition. The online platform can provide for both readers and comic artists with not only comic information, but also a great opportunity to communicate with each other beyond national borders. In addition, by holding comic contests which is called C1 Grand Prize. Taiwanese young and local comic artists can get a chance to make their works well known to the world. We believe that this cooperation and competition will be the keys to promotion of Taiwanese comic artists. We also hope that Taiwanese comics are led by more and more people in the world. These are references. Thank you.